You've got to tolerate the odd sharp claw and sharp tooth embedded in your tail. Pure mischief bundled into a couple of pounds of fluff. Oh, that's beautiful. Sorry, I've actually, I've run out of words to try and describe this because it is just so incredibly beautiful. Let's have a look at sibling number two, who is not interested in playtime this morning and is thoroughly invested in getting what's left of the Impala kill. As you can see, she hasn't hoisted. Hello, little boy. This is the male, right? I'm not going crazy. That was the female and this is the male. So this is Hosanna. And he is thoroughly, thoroughly invested in this impala kill. You can see it hasn't been hoisted. But whereas a grown, an adult impala kill would have lasted Karula easily three or four days in the past before she had these two little bundles to feed, now, in basically 24 hours, the impala kill is all but finished. The little ones have voracious appetites, lots of growing, particularly the little boy who is... Almost. I mean, not quite, but he's getting to the point where he's almost as big as Karula. His feet are basically the same size as Karula's. And all that growing means a constantly hungry little leopard cub. And luckily for these two, their mum knows how to provide. Unless I'm very much mistaken, they've now got their permanent teeth coming through. Apparently there's some confusion, and I have to confess, I'm confused as well from my perspective, because obviously we've got the bright sunlight shining into our eyes. This to me looks like Hosanna, unless I'm very much mistaken. I think Shungile's eyes are no longer that brown color that she started off with at birth. So to me, where is she? I can't even see her in real life. Oh, there she is. Um... No, this is, this is Shungile. Beautiful little thing. Look at her massive paws. Isn't that incredible? Yes, that's why I, res I didn't actually say he, she in the beginning. Because it wasn't so easy to tell initially. It wouldn't be the first time we've made this mistake. And her eyes have definitely changed colour. But the expression in them hasn't changed. Bright burning curiosity. I think she's going to be a big girl. Especially with a mum like Karula providing for her. She goes exploring her world, showing the independence that's so typical of female cubs. There you go. Now you can see it. Slightly thinner face than her brother, with a slightly more, in my opinion, pronounced W on her forehead, much like her mother's wow. Oh. <laughs> uh, Michael, do you want to know at what age before Shungile becomes independent? Shungile, for our new viewers, is this little female cub, and females generally become independent. Oh dear. Well, that is a silly place to put your head. Oh, we can't see your beautiful face. That's okay. I don't think she's going to be still for long. For our newer viewers, female cubs often start to show independence and often become independent sooner than their male counterparts. So Shungile will probably become independent before Hosanna, who is the one gorging himself on the leftovers. And Michael, you want to know at what age Karula will become intolerant of their shenanigans before Shungile becomes independent. They're getting to that point already. It's a difficult one because it will depend very much on the individuals. We saw Shadow snarling at Sindile before he was a year old. Whenever he approached a carcass, whenever he went to approach her and show affection to her. But that might have been because of her body going back into estrus. Uh, Salaheshe, on the other hand, We've got seen either ourselves some amazing sights of affection between the two, 
or we've heard reports from other guides that the two of them play constantly together, even though Tiani, her cub, is nearly